I still find that Gemini Pro Vision is a lot better than pretty much any other vision architecture out there. And I think that's generally because for VQA tasks of this sort, a multi-model approach like Gemini translates a lot more information to the text inferencing engine than pretty much any other modular approach such as that with GPT-4 Vision. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up Gemini Pro Vision and use it for inferencing inside of a Python engine. Now, while in this particular video, I'm not gonna show you how to set this up with an inferencing server like I've done in the past, the exact process that I use here can be applied to any one of my other inferencing server videos that I've done in the past. So you just need to take the methods that I apply here and implement them on a Python server and it will work exactly like it should. So let's go ahead and get started. So you want to follow this process inside of a new Jupyter notebook and I've left this exact notebook available for download in my resources section. So to begin with you want to install these two Python packages into your machine so simply run them with pip install. Get them all installed. I will have this as a requirement text file in the package that you download in the resources section but simply installing these two packages will get you started and then we're going to use Google AI Studio to go ahead and pick up an API key. Now getting to Google AI Studio is not as obvious as it should be but if you go to makersuite.google.com it will get you into this exact page and all you want to do is you want to click the get API key button over here. This will allow you to create a new API key or create an API key with an existing project. So you just want to pick one of the two. Get yourself an API key, go ahead and copy it onto your clipboard. Then back here in my Jupyter Notebook over here I'll have removed my API key. You just want to paste yours in here and then you want to go ahead and run this particular cell. So this cell is simply importing the generative AI package from Google. And then this next line over here allows us to get a list of the different generative models that we can use. So I'll go ahead and run this particular line over here. It does load for quite a bit. And then it gives us a list of all the models that we can download. And you can see over here we have Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro Vision. So down here I'm going to go ahead and load Gemini Pro Vision. So this is exactly how you load it. Again, this code remains generally the same between a Python server and a Jupyter Notebook like I'm using it right now. You just need to go into my my previous Python server code over here where I import a generative model you just change that to vision so it's exactly the same stuff it's just it's more convenient for me to do it in a notebook in this particular case now this code over here downloads some images from pixels I already have these images downloaded onto my machine so I can go ahead and open them up here and show them to you now these images are really really big so as you're gonna see later on we're gonna use a model to reduce the size of these images so you need to run this cell if you're following along with this particular notebook but I don't really need to do it because I've already downloaded these images now this next cell over here goes ahead and loads this image using PIL. This is what the image looks like. This is just an image of a teacup. And you'll see with Gemini's responses to my particular questions, you'll notice that it's a lot more detailed than something that like GPT-4 Vision would do. And that's just because of the better embedding for multi-models that Gemini uses. So I'm just going to run that particular cell. And then this is the part where we get started. So what I'm doing here is I'm feeding the image to Gemini and Gemini will immediately come up with a response based on the content within this image. So I'm just going to go ahead and send that. And Gemini's response to this particular image shows something that is special with these multi-models. So it is telling me that it is a cup of tea here, but then it goes ahead and points out the background as well. And this is something that you usually only get with these multi-models. Yes, you can set up a modular model framework where the image model goes ahead and sends as much information as you can to the text model, but there's always information that you're going to go ahead and leave out. But the cool thing is this particular generate content object over here, it can take in a single object or it can take in an array of the multi-model systems that you want to send to it. So over here on this next line, you can see that I'm feeding it an array of objects. One of them is the question, the text item that I want to ask, and then I can feed it the model. So the cool thing over here is that because this is an array, you can include as much input as you'd like in this particular array. So you could put a second image here and then use it for multi-model inferencing. But in this particular case, I'm just including one image and one text. I'm asking, how can I make this? And then down here, I'm just using the markdown component to go ahead and render this in a way that looks good. So in this particular case, it's just giving me a clear outline of exactly what I need to do to be able to prepare this cup of tea and that's pretty much it that's exactly how you set this up with an image I'll just go ahead and run this one more time this time I'm loading the image of a walkway this is exactly what the full scale image looks like and then down here I'm just gonna go ahead and resize it to 200 pixels by 200 pixels and this time I'm gonna ask a different question so here I'm asking what's a fun thing to do here I'm gonna go ahead and send that to Gemini Gemini is done once it's done resolving that I can go ahead and render the output and it just says you could go for a hike so that's exactly how how to set up Gemini to be able to work with VQA tasks for multiple images. And like I said, in my own tests, I found that this particular Gemini Pro Vision setup is a lot more performant than multi-model modular setups like GPT-4 Vision. So thanks a bunch for watching this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.